Hello everyone. My name is uh, Aditya Gupta. Um, and an, uh, I'm, I was an undergraduate at All India Institute of Medical Sciences from 2012 to 2017. And uh, in the Ames May 2018 uh, PG entrance examination, I secured 18th, uh, 17th rank. And uh, I thought and I decided that I'll make one video every day of the Ames May 2018 exam uh, in order to help the aspirants and uh, give them an idea how the Ames frames its question for its postgraduate entrance examination. Uh, I'll make one video every day con uh, discussing just one or maybe two questions each so that uh, it, it isn't time consuming and you can do it anytime you want uh, whenever you're having your free time. Uh, thank you and we'll discuss the first question uh, today and uh, this is uh, this question is about pharmacology so let's get let's get uh, before discussing the question I'm extremely sorry uh, if the video quality is not nice uh, I'm doing it from my uh, on uh, phone camera and uh, pardon me for uh, if there is any disturbance in the video so we'll we'll, we'll st uh, start discussing the questions uh, the one of the question asked in the may 2018 exam uh, in the pharmacology was which of the following is a new drug approved for uh, als als is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis uh, it's a, a motor neuron disease uh, it's also known as lou gehrig's disease uh, lou gehrig uh, was a baseball player in uh, America who suffered from this disease. He was a very famous uh, baseball player in the 1930s and the 40s and uh, he developed this disease and died within uh, a, a year or two and hence uh, it's also known as Lou Gehrig's disease after him. Uh, however, in uh, in today's, uh, today it's more famous because uh, the famous physicist and the scientist uh, uh, Dr. Stephen Hawking also suffered from a form of ALS uh, and uh, since uh, uh, since he died in uh, m uh, very recently and AIMS has a tendency to ask uh, things which have occurred recently uh, which have been in the recent news uh, I believe this was a result uh, this question was a result of that so let's get to that uh, which of the following is a new drug approved for ALS uh, the four options were uh, ceftriaxone, piracetam uh, Rylozole in Indara went on. Now you will realize that in any examination you can easily rule out two options. In this uh, question you can easily rule out ceftriaxone and you can easily rule out paracetam. Ceftriaxone is a third generation keflosporin which is used for treatment of bacterial infections, bacterial meningitis, sepsis. While paracetam uh, is something similar to liveracetam. It's uh, it, it doesn't have any FDA uh, US FDA indication. It's used as a dietary supplement sometimes. Now, as far as the other two options are concerned, riluzol and idaravone, both of these drugs are actually used for ALS. However, the question asks whether the following is a new drug approved for ALS. In that scenario, the answer is uh, which was the answer in the uh, exam, idaravone. Uh, another question which can be asked in later examinations uh, is what is the mechanism of action of these two drugs? As far as riluzole is concerned, riluzole uh, decreases glutamate, it decreases glutamate mediated neurotoxicity. Remember, uh, what happens in ALS is that the motor neurons of a person start to get destroyed. Uh, various hypotheses have been proposed why, why does that start to happen and another hypothesis is that these neurons are being killed by uh, mechanisms such as uh, oxygen related stress, uh, free radicals and glutamate mediated uh, neurotoxicity. Glutamate is an excited neurotox uh, excitatory neurotransmitter. If it increases it can damage the neurons and uh, riluzole helps to prevent that and it has been shown to improve this uh, increase the survival by around three to four months. The new drug which was approved for ALS and the answer to the question is Idaravone. It was approved in 2017 after just one trial in Japan and uh, the mechanism of action of Idaravone is something uh, different from Riluzol. Uh, it's an antioxidant. It's an antioxidant. It decreases oxygen mediated stress and oxygen uh, in uh, oxygen free radicals and hence decreases the uh, damage to the uh, motor neurons and helps to improve survival. So when the question the question was which of the following is a new drug approved for uh, ALS and the answer was Idaravon. Thank you.